Hello, I'm J. Cole Sanford. I'm a cash crop product specialist for the Northeast region of the U.S. And uh, today we are showing the uh, first public unveiling in North America of the CR-10. Uh, the CR-10 is the next generation chassis that follows along from the CR-11 that we showed earlier this year uh, in the North American marketplace. So it carries a lot of the same technology. Um, really, this was a, a, a combine built from a clean sheet of paper. It's a, it's a next generation unit and the design teams came up with all their innovations and all those sorts of things um, with the idea of decreasing the total cost of harvesting. So every time they made a design decision on the new widget, as I like to call it, um, and if it proved in the field and in the lab that it was going to decrease that total cost of harvesting, they went through with it. And so that's really the foreground of the whole unit. Um, and really what drives those values? A couple things. Productivity in the field, minimizing loss, residue management, and total uptime. And the design uh, folks uh, did an incredible job uh, with this unit. From the drive line itself, the engine is actually in line with the rotor. That way we gain a little bit of percentage of power efficiency through the machine. A completely new from scratch cleaning shoe to get us to that zero loss that we were talking about or near zero loss. Um, it's actually really kind of a unique system, a twin clean. So we really took two cleaning shoes and put it together. And a residue system that has what's called IntelliSpread. And it's actually using radar sensors to sense the distribution of material as it comes out of the residue system and trying to make it, and the machine will automatic, automatically make adjustments to get to that right width. So if we have a 61 footer, like the new MacDon FD261 that was just shown, um, we could put that on this machine, type in 61 foot, and now the automation residue system is gonna spread for that. Lastly, uh, from a, a standpoint of uptime, um, we want to keep the operator in the cab because if those wheels are spinning, we're making grain and that efficiency is, is key for a machine of this size. Um, and so we have a lot of things that are adjustable from the cab, like for instance, rotor gearing. So either uh, or the rotor gearbox as well as the chopper gearbox can be shifted from the inside, including even rotor reverse. So if we do come into a rotor blockage situation with uh, too much material or for whatever reason, uh, high speed, the things that we don't like to talk about, right, that happen, they do happen. Um, we can actually unblock the rotor and reverse the rotor uh, drive system right from the cab and get you back into the crop uh, and keeping that uptime. All right, so with the CR10 and 11, um, the next generation chassis, uh, we're up on the engine deck, and this is uh, really the heart of the machine, right, from a horsepower standpoint. The engine here that you see is a 13-liter Cursor, um, and it's uh, produced in-house by FBT, one of our engine, su or our engine supplier here uh, on the, in the CNH world. Um, and this thing is uh, pushing about 635 horse. And this is what's really unique about the drive line that, it, that I discussed there a little bit earlier, was that the engine is in the same angle as the rotors. So if we imagine the rotors, they are at this exact angle, and the idea is to get this drive line in line with the actual rotors themselves. If we don't have to have any lefts and rights and turns and, and zigs and zags, so to speak, um, we can get much more power efficiency uh, through the drive line, and that's one of the key things that, that, that we gained here. It's kind of a unique setup, uh, but FBT uh, works, of course, with our uh, design folks, and they have uh, provisions for running engines at unique angles in their world of engines. So this was kind of a unique design. On the back of the engine, this is where you see all the PTO components. So this, the silver housing right here houses the hydromechanical drive for the feeder. It also houses the hydromechanical drive for the rotor. And that's what gives us the ability to reverse the rotors or reverse the, the feeder house like you would normally do. Um, and so if we have any kind of blockages or anything like that, we use these systems right here. It's a really unique uh, setup, um, and it also allows us to do unique things with the cooling package. So if we look at the front half of the engine, you notice on the CR10, because of its horsepower rating, we have uh, two engine cooling fans, and in the front there are our cooler uh, package, uh, rad or radiator screens, and then on the front of them is two rotating rotary air screens. And that's where the engine and combine draws its clean air, is actually behind the grain tank and in front and top of the engine. Um, that's really the cleanest place during harvest uh, to gather your air, and it uses that air blast and blows it across the back of the engine and back across the deck, and it keeps this area really, really clean. So it does a fantastic job for, uh, uh, for providing an efficient uh, way of getting power to those rotors. Um, the other unique thing is that cooler package sits between you and the operating station or in the cab and the engine. So it's also a sound barrier uh, to make the cab even more quiet during operation. So we're really excited, really proud of this monster engine installation uh, to, to create all that horsepower uh, to get all that productivity out of the machine.
All right, so we're going to take a look at the residue system on how it's equipped on this particular model, the CR10. Um, we will take a look, and as this gearbox that I'm pointing at right here, this combine is equipped as an option with the integrated chopper. So this is using the chopper in the place of where the beater would be. Then the, chop, the material comes off the rotor, gets chopped with the counter knife bank, and gets projected over top and follows right through here and then comes down into the impellers on our uh, IntelliSpread system that you see here. So this is an option. We can also option with the high hood mount uh, spread, uh, chopping system, which is what we have seen quite a bit in some of our footage so far. But what that does is it replaces that chopper and that gearbox system and puts a chopper and gearbox system right here. And that chopper will rotate in this manner clockwise because the material comes over top of it and it shoots down into the impellers and then comes out of the, out of the machine. Um, this particular setup is capable of 50 foot spread. When we look at the high hood mount chopper system, that is capable of 60 foot spread. So um, when we get to the larger headers, we start to see that in some of the markets. Uh, you can equip the machine either way as a factory only option. So you have to pick at the factory level uh, which way you want to go. The you really unique system about either of the two chopping systems is, uh, Intel, or is uh, IntelliSpread. And IntelliSpread, is the heart of it is this sensor right here. So there's one on both sides, and those are radar sensors. So they're pretty interesting. What they're doing is sensing the result of the residue spread. So if we have a crosswind, like we kind of do today, um, the, the machine will notice that because the, the radar uh, sees that the chaff only went so far. We type in the header width, so in this case 50 foot, um, and it knows, hey, the chaff is only going 45. So what is it going to do? Well, it's going to increase the RPM of this impeller on this side and, and shoot the material further against the wind to get it to that true 50 foot spread. And that same thing happens on the other side. So that's what, what we do to get the material out the side of the machine. When we come to the back half of the machine though, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. This is kind of a unique setup. Uh, the folks in innovation and design, man, you, you give them enough time, they can come up with some wild stuff and it works. It's really neat. So follow along here. We have this rotating shaft right here. It's a hydraulically driven and it's controlled into this link arm. And what that link arm is controlled to is our back panel. The back panel then pivots about this point right here, or it oscillates. So think of like maybe a windshield wiper. It goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth at a decent frequency. Um, and as you can see right now, the, my, my hand width. So it's quite a bit of width here. If we come to this other side, it's pretty tight. This is the opening and closing of the door, so to speak, so that material will come directly behind the machine and get our coverage in the center of the combine. It's one of the really cool, neatest little features, you know, that you wouldn't think about, and then you see it and you're like, aha, you have that aha moment with the residue system. Uh, but it's a fantastic setup and uh, gives you clean access to everything. And of course, to get access into the cleaning shoe, uh, we've got a button bank here on the side and this whole assembly that I just described lifts up out of the way. We lock it in position and then we can get into the cleaning shoe. Um, this is probably the, the biggest impact uh, to the machine uh, because it's the easiest thing to see on a demonstration. Uh, the first time I was with one of the machines, um, that was the first thing I noticed was the widespread and how, uh, how great of a job it did uh, with spreading. So it's probably one of the easiest things to have an impact to see. Um, then you get into the heart of the machine and talk about the zero, the near zero loss, the high ca capacity, um, and then staying in the cab, right, to keep the uptime. So this uh, allows a, a lot of nice things to happen for the harvest. All right, and this is our next generation corn head. So this is the 9200 series. Uh, this particular model is the 9200 or 9216-30. And what that num number means is it's a 16 row at 30 inch spacing. And it has a lot of new tech on it to enable the high capacity CR10 that we show here. In fact, 50th anniversary of the twin rotor coming up in model year 25, so more on that later. But let's focus on the, on the 9200. So, a uh, high capacity header needed for the high capacity combine. This header can retrofit to any, it's compatible with any CR, so CR flagship or CR next gen. And on the 12 and 16 row model, you get the large auger that you see here. So this is the largest diameter auger in the industry uh, for our corn head. And I had some personal experience last fall uh, uh, running the 12 row version of this head. And really anything that went to the auger went into the combine. So from a high capacity uh, standpoint, that auger is the key. And that allows us to feed all that material into the feeder house and uh, carry on with the high capacity in the machine. And it also starts at the row unit. So we'll take a look right here. This is our 9200 series row unit. 
Um, those that are keeping track, we actually had this row unit launched a few years ago with the 20 and 22 inch uh, corn head that we offered from New Holland. And we've now made that into the 30 inch size. Uh, the cool part about this row unit is it's a, a lighter design. Uh, we've improved the, the spring system that holds the gathering chain, so it prevents any kind of slipping. So you'll notice that the gathering chains are on every other, uh, uh, inter they're, they're intermeshing, so to speak, and we try to keep that timing uh, perfect, and the rigidity of the spring system allows us to do that. One other thing that we can do with the, uh, the new row unit is both deck plates move, and they're centered as we open and close these two deck plates, these two guys right here that you see, um, and depending on the crop uh, condition or size, the size of the stock, the size of the ear, we can tighten those down and get a better, cleaner pick uh, with minimum uh, header shelling. Um, or in larger corn or larger stocks, we can pull those apart. But the idea is both of those deck plates move in unison and they're centered over the stock roll. One other unique thing is this header is equipped with the, uh, with the chopper. So we can, uh, you can see that chopping row unit right there that I'm pointing. And we have the ability <coughs> uh, with this machine that we can turn those off or on uh, independently. Um, that's something you get out of the cab and do if you have some crops that you or some, some fields you want to chop and others that you don't. The other unique thing about this is the drive line. So on the left hand side of the header, that drives all the row units, the auger. Um, and then on the right hand side, when we have chopping, we have a different power shaft we hook up and that runs the chopping row unit. It's a kind of a unique deal where we, a uh, unique system where we separate out the drives depending on what it's actually doing. So we separate the drives for the chopper versus the, the main unit of the corn head. Um, then at the end of the row units that you see here, we currently have the tall corn attachment installed and it's installed over top of the end auger divider. So this is the first time we've had the ability to have either or. Um, on previous designs and previous models, we weren't able to have auger end dividers if you wanted the tall corn attachment. And so a lot of situations in taller corn, the ears are up higher and we want to install this. In other situations, we can pull that off and store it on the back of the header. And then we can use the um, hydraulically driven auger end divider, which is hides underneath that that you see here. And that helps us a lot in down corn situations uh, to help feed the material in. So overall, it's a really exciting header. Um, we're real excited to see this, uh, see it work um, uh, this fall um, and get high capacity out of the high capacity machines. So it's a real exciting machine. Uh, we're so proud of this, of this new chassis and the new, the next generation CR. And now it's in the class nine uh, arena with the CR-10. It's uh, behind me pushing 635 horse with a 455 bushel tank. Uh, it, it can be optioned up to 567 bushel. And uh, if you wanna learn more about the machine, uh, search New Holland uh, Agriculture on any of the social media channels as well as uh, go to newholland.com slash NA, and that's where you can find uh, your facing dealer and you can contact them and you never know, you might even get a product specialist to come out on the visit uh, to talk shop about the new CR 1011. So real excited about what we have and thank you very much.